Nick, quick, come here. How cool is that? I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> That's a big stonefish. First long tail tuna in the bay. I've never seen anything like that. Me That's a big stonefish. Right, so I've just spotted down in that hole. There's a big um, gold spot cod and it looks to be pretty damaged. I think one of the other Spiros that's come through here is taking a shot and it's got off. So it's looking pretty hurt. Yeah, I'll, I'll shoot it and bring it up because they're real good eating and I don't want this guy to, to suffer any longer. So I'll pop down now and, and take the shot. kidding me? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Look how badly he got shot. Ooh. By the other Spiros, I'm guessing. Yeah. Poor guy. There he is. <laughs> nice fish, man. <laughs> what a beauty. First long tail tuna in the bay. I'm so happy with this fish. Absolute beast. <laughs> so we're gonna fill it up now. <laughs> right in front. Oh, oh, oh yes! Yes, <laughs> yes. Well done, man. I have found a little bit. Work his head the other. Yeah, that's it. Come out. Back up. Oh, he's 
coming up. Here you go. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That is unreal. First long tail tuna in the bay as we're heading home. I'm so happy with this fish. Look at that. What an absolute beauty. <laughs> we get some, some slabs of meat off this bad boy. Look at the size of it. Oh, God. we should get the um, scale on it. All right, we may as well grab the scale and um and weigh this this thing. I haven't measured it either yet, but gosh, I'd say it's probably like 80, 90. I reckon. Oh, oh 4.8. 4.8. 4 I was gonna say five and a half. Going six. Six. Oh, now I'm really second guessing myself. <laughs> six two. Yeah, well, yeah, no, that's a lot more than four. Oh, jeez. Six. six and a half. 6.5 6.5 Alright, now stop pulling it down <laughs> <laughs> Well, we bled it, so that was probably yeah. another 5 yeah, kilos Yeah, true, true <laughs> Welcome back to the kitchen, guys It's a nice rainy day and today we're going to be cooking up that tuna with a delicious seared sesame recipe. So get your tuna, well, get your bowl, put a little bit of soy sauce in, a little bit of sesame oil, some lime juice, because we didn't have real limes, and whack some wasabi paste in there. It kind of comes out a little funny. Mix all that together in the bowl, make sure it's all mixed up, and then uh, sit your fish in there, coat it around, and let that sit for about two to three minutes. So we're lighting up the transier here, and we'll put our hot plate on with a little bit of olive oil and get that cranking. Next up, you just wanna mix up that fillet in all the sesame seeds. Don't forget any of these corners. Get every single edge covered, and then whack it on the hot plate. It'll be nice and hot. And you only wanna sit it on each side for about 45 seconds to a minute, and just searing it. You don't wanna really cook it through. So once that's looking good, you pretty much want to get it out, let it sit for about two to three minutes, guys. Now with your salad, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of lemon, I mean lime, salt, mix it up, and that should be perfect. So we'll cut this open with preferably a sharp knife, which I've not done here, and that should be nice and red inside. Remember guys, tuna is safe to eat raw. We are not cooking it through. We're just searing the outside to give it that flavor, and it should be nice and red inside. So we'll put that on the plate, make sure the presentation looks good. Now we're going to whack a little bit of sauce on the side and check this out, sriracha flavored kewpie. We're going to put that on with the wasabi, so cool. Bit of salad and that's it guys, that's done. And that's it guys, mum insisted I whack some uh, cherry tomatoes on there that it's completely cooked up and I'm going to hook in now. I've got a bit of the sauce there, a bit of colour, fish looks unreal so yeah I'll give it the taste test now, see how it is. Got a lot of wasabi there. Woo. It's hoodie weather, guys. If you want to grab a shorehawk hoodie, they'll probably be restocking real soon. If I had to rate this thing, look, I give this a nine. Like, this is one of the best looking dishes that I've ever made. Taste would be an easy, like, seven and a half to eight. By the way, this is super harsh rating. Like, I'm not going easy, but I'd say, yeah, that's like a seven and a half for taste. And then complexity, this was a really, really easy dish to do. Like, there's not much to to mess up, so three and a half to four on the complexity level, which is good. Really easy, really tasty, looks unreal. Done. Thanks so much for watching to the, the end of the video, guys. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yew.